Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're looking at some of the best design tools, resources and news of August 2023. So sit back, relax and let me take you through this. Now today's video was actually made possible by Skillshare, offering an entire month for free to only you guys, but more on that later. All right, so the first one you guys might have seen on Twitter is the Dribble redesign. Dribble has completely changed its design and the path it is going to follow for designers. It's no longer a design inspiration website like we all knew. Dribble has changed its direction apart from just its logo to make it look a lot like a design hiring platform where companies can hire designers like you. It also has a lot of Upwork-esque kind of motivations here because you'll be able to charge people a certain amount of money per hour for design practices and resources. They also are doubling down on learning design. So there are a lot of different courses they offer, online courses that you can take up, which are competing with schools like Career Foundry and Springboard mainly. And of course, they're focusing on their pro features, which will allow you to create a portfolio here. Yes, they're monetizing and they're trying to become profitable is what I am assuming. You can now win 10,000 plus dollars with UI8 and Framer. So UI8 and Framer have collaborated now. And with each season of this contest, you can win upwards of two to five thousand dollars, even ten thousand dollars. For the first season, it's about creating framer templates. And if you create a cool framer template that they love, between August 11th and October 15, you can get prizes like ten thousand US dollars plus one year of Framer Pro and Framer Merch Pack. Then there's two thousand five hundred dollars, which again is a great prize. And of course, if you've come third, you can still get one year access for all these platforms and Framer merch pack, of course. I mean, I didn't get a merch pack after creating so much content for Framer, but hey, I mean, you can still get it here. You guys all have used the Figma collaboration feature where different arrows come in, different people can work on a single design. Multi is bringing collaboration across your computer with this tool. Right now it's in early access and it's only available on Mac OS, but who knows, maybe we get to see a Windows version soon. And yes, it allows you to use the Figma collaboration feature onto any tool, any design tool, coding tool, whatever you like. And this is seamless. They also have a really cool blog showing you how this technology works and how seamlessly it can be made. But for now, I suggest get the early access, put in your name and email, and hopefully they send it to you early as well. I haven't gotten mine, but I would love to showcase it. So if anyone from your team is watching guys, I would love a quick access. Oh, AI is gonna take our jobs. Whoa. No, it's not. Personalizing your lectures with AI by ULEARN is why it's useful. AI can become really useful for your learning journey. A lot of you guys are learning. And this, this AI, what it does is it takes resources from the entire internet. It could be PDFs from certain sites or YouTube videos, whatever it is. It will bring together knowledge for you from all over the internet into one place. So if you want to learn UX design, you can kind of tell the AI. It has three major features. One being its chat features where it, you can literally chat with it like a mentor. And then the mentor gives you resources like a YouTube video or a PDF to learn from. And then you have something called notes. You can seamlessly take notes while you're creating, while you're studying or learning. And there is something called summary. So it summarizes long PDFs for you, long videos for you. You don't have to watch a 30 minute video. You can even read through a summary of it as well. It's free of cost, completely free of cost, and it's still in beta. So there might be a few bugs, but we'll get over it. At this point of time, we all know about Skillshare and I'm sure you've taken courses from Skillshare in the past as well. My favorite has always been MKBHD's course, which kind of takes you through different chapters on making and editing videos, etc. Such experts and influencers that you guys might follow are all on Skillshare and they have various courses on the platform. Now Skillshare is full of features that can help you kind of organize your learning experience. So there's my learning paths. You can create a learning path by adding various videos, chapters, etc., into a certain learning path. And there are a lot of various pre-made learning paths. So uh, hundreds of learning paths in UX, UI design, covering productivity, covering English speaking, Photoshop, whatever you want to learn about uh, various paths or journeys you can take essentially. And the topics they are covering are endless from UI, UX design to what we love, of course. 
things like graphic design, illustration, fine arts, creative writing. They're also adding cool new things like freelance and entrepreneurship, etc. And if you find a genre that you like, like UI, UX design, you can find various sub-genres under there. So if there's a skill like Sketch, Figma, XD, learn wireframing as such. You can learn prototyping separately. You can get one month for free if you use my exclusive link in the description. August was a big month for AI when it comes to design because Relume launched its AI design tool. You just have to define your business or you have to tell it what you want. And it also creates complete responsive wireframes since these are all Relume assets. They're not only responsive, you can also export them to Figma for editing or you can export them to Webflow to actually export it as a website. There are thousand plus components so you can get a variety of variations and choose from those variations. This is one of the only useful UI design and UX design AI tools right now. All the others are mainly gimmicks in my opinion. What if you could get experts to review your designs for free? They can give you a full review on how you can improve your designs using Review My Design. It's super well made. First of all, I love the animations right here. This is, I know, from Icons 8, but it looks good anyways. So basically, the experts that are behind the scenes will leave comments on your designs. And based on the, those comments, you can always improve your designs. Now Fred will be doing your reviews, multiple years of experience, and is also built companies on his own. So he knows what works, what doesn't. Now, such websites are super popular these days, but this takes it to the next level. User Flows is basically a website which shows you videos of flows throughout a website. So if, for example, Airbnb, how do you search for a place on Airbnb? There's a two minute, 27 second video on how the flow goes from homepage of Airbnb for the actual booking on Airbnb. And the best part is they've actually divided this into different parts. So your, each part of the video is being carefully put in chapters on the right. Each chapter kind of defines where the user will be in the journey. And it's mostly free of cost. You can see most of the stuff, stuff free of cost right now. I think it's a great time to get into this. Oh my, this is a dream come true. Illustration Universe. It brings illustrations from all the successful products you know about into one place. So you can either use it for your personal projects or get inspired by these illustrations to make yours. So for example, my favorite one here is Duolingo. So it will show you all the pages where illustrations are used on Duolingo. If there's a plain page without illustration, it won't. The best part about these are these super high quality. So you can just download them from here. Try not to use it for commercial projects because that could be a little risky legally. If you're trying to redesign a particular website or app, you'll get all the resources from here. Now you guys know I'm a sucker for good icons. Blend Icons is a really cool icon pack with 157,000 icons. Yes, 1,57,000 for my Indian friends out there. This is one of the freshest and cleanest looking ones with a lot of detail as well. Apart from that, they have various styles here. They have something called a solid line, which is like this nice little color plus line. Then you have something called fresh, which is, as the name suggests, very fresh looking. The only thing I like about this is it's very simple and easy to use. You know, there are no big features here, very minimal web page where you can find good icons, that's it. They also have collections. You can find various collections right here. So each collection will be now divided into, you know, different aspects and you can check all of them out in one go. Have you guys ever noticed that Figma links are super long? If you want to share a Figma link, you'll have to share it and it's three lines long and it can get tedious, especially if you have to display it somewhere. Now, figma.fun is the website that will solve this. Basically, you paste your Figma URL here and in a matter of seconds, it will give you a shortened link of it. All right, let me try this out for you guys. I'm going to paste a random Figma link, see how long this is. And it's basically made it into this nice little short link here. And it has Figma in the name. So, so you don't have to lose out the Figma name to get a short URL. This is free of cost. You just copy it and paste it wherever you like. Since we're talking about Figma, Figma has some big news this month. The first one was Jambot, which I've made an entire video on. I would love if you check it out next. Basically in FigJam, you will be able to use ChatGPT in a visual format, which I absolutely love. 
and that is amazing. The second thing that they've brought into play is our updated variable systems. So now you can do a lot of things with variables you couldn't do earlier. First out of these variable updates is the way you can edit color variables. So now you can do color scoping, which allows you to select which properties of a button or an element the colors can change. If you want a color to only affect text in your design, you can make it affect only text in your designs. It won't affect the entire element, which I think is super useful, especially when using in a large design system. The other one has to be multi-edit. Earlier, you had to pick each variable and edit it. This is a lifesaver. Now you can select while holding shift multiple variables and then edit certain properties. And then of course, do things like deleting, etc. You also now have a code syntax for each variable. So you can define a code syntax and how the code should look like at the end of the day. There are a bunch of other updates to both variables as well as dev mode. I'll have a link so you can check it out and read about it in detail.